the sound of an organ is less than meets the ear. Each pipe in isolation produces a relatively plain tinny sound, not too far removed from the basic waveforms you get from old computers and video game consoles. But the sound waves from the pipes hit the walls, typically of a church, and are reflected back and forth many times before they reach our ears. So what we actually hear is thousands of delayed copies of the original sound. And if we remove the church, I wrote a program for playing music live on the Commodore 64. So you can play the built-in waveforms like the pulse, a triangle, or even a combination of waveforms an octave apart. The keys are laid out as on a chromatic button accordion, specifically a system B or Bayan accordion. This button layout is brilliant in its own right, but it also happens to match the shape of a computer keyboard. So here we have a musical instrument that does not sound like an organ. And as I explained earlier, what we're missing is church acoustics. I didn't have a cathedral at home, but I did have this spring reverb tank. So I built an interface for connecting the spring reverb to a Commodore 64. First, the raw 8-bit sound is converted to an electric current. The current flows through a coil here to create a changing magnetic field that yanks a pair of magnets sideways ever so slightly in proportion to the sound wave. This movement propagates along the length of the springs bounces back and forth, in fact bounces all over the place because of stiffness in the springs. And that results in thousands of delayed copies of the original sound wave that can be picked up, for instance, over here, again using magnets and a coil, and amplified and mixed back into the original sound. So it's hooked up and any movement of the springs is converted into sound. When we play some notes to excite the springs, we can hear that the sound lingers and reverberates, but we can still hear the dry sound quite distinctly, so let's reduce that in the mix. tanks are used in electric guitar amplifiers and, of course, electric organs. This particular tank was originally installed in the organ that I rebuilt into the Chipophone back in 2010. In that project, I used an organ keyboard to play 8-bit computer music. And now I can use an 8-bit computer keyboard to play organ music, full circle. The CD chip in the Commodore 64 has three voices, which means that it can play up to three notes at the same time. But the 64 gun will often refuse to play more than two notes. Computer keyboards, at least the cheaper ones, suffer from a problem called ghosting, which prevents certain combinations of three or more keys from being detected reliably. So that means I can play two parts, two independent melodies at the same time, and I can sometimes add a third note. 
but a lot of organ music is composed for four parts, or even more. In order to play those works, I'd have to build several 64 organs and hire several copies of myself to play them. Luckily, in the age of YouTube, this is a solved problem.